Hello. Here is a simple problem where we will use basic trigonometric ratios. Okay. It says a telephone pole casts a shadow of 8 meters long when the angle of elevation of sun is 50 degrees. Determine the height of the pole. Okay. So let's try to sketch it first. Let's say this is our pole, right? Now the shadow is being cast and the angle of elevation is 50 degrees. Angle of elevation is taken from the horizontal always, okay? So let's say this is a pole and let's say that's a shadow, okay? Now, so the height of the pole is up to here, right? Now, angle of elevation is 50 degrees. That means this angle from the horizontal, if you measure here, that is 50 degrees. Always angle of elevation is looking upwards from the horizontal okay you need to determine the height of the pole so let's define height as h okay and cause a shadow 8 meter long so this is the shadow and let's say this is 8 right so let's say this is my pole and uh, p and this is o and this is my point where the shadow falls let it be s correct now to determine height what we know is we know the angle and what do we need to find? We need to find height which is just opposite the angle, right? So what we have here is we need to find which is opposite, right? And uh, what do we know here? Adjacent side, right? So if you know opposite and adjacent, then what should you use? Remember your Soka tour? Think like this. I'm trying to show you the way you should be doing the problem. Thing like this. So cut is sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Well, I use h. This is my height, opposite side, right? And cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan is opposite over adjacent, right? So I know opposite and adjacent, correct? That means the best thing for me to use is tan, correct? So I should be using tan here, right? Correct. So that should give me my answer. Now, so what is tan of 50 degrees? We will say tan of 50 degrees is equal to opposite side, which is OP, which is equal to H for us, over hypotenuse. Oh, sorry, adjacent, which is SO, which is 8, right? So this is tan of 50 degrees, correct? Now, from here, we can always find what is height. So height will be 8 times tan 50 degrees, correct? So we'll write, we can write 8 times tan 50 degrees equals to height h. Now, we can use the calculator to find the values, correct? So we 8 times tan 50 degrees equals to, we get 9.534. Nine point five three four, right? So from here we can say we can round this number to let's say one decimal place, and we say height equals to nine point five meters. Why meters? Because eight was given us to us in meters, so it is height in meters. So it's so simple as that to find the height, right? Well, we can extend this problem, and uh, let me extend the problem and we say well after some time the sun goes up and let us say what becomes the length of the shadow if angle of elevation is let's do part b of the problem and we'll make the part b as uh, find the length of the shadow If angle of elevation is is let's say 75 degrees, so what happens? The sun goes up, right, and the angle of elevation increases. So, so we expect a smaller height. Let me make a new diagram for this. Okay, for the same pole, right? So we already know now the height of the pole, and what we have here is kind of a new diagram and at this time 
it will be kind of steep, right? 75 degrees, right? So, let's say this is 75 degrees and these are right angles, right? And height we know as, so when, our, when we do calculations, it is better to use three or four decimal places for accuracy, right? Yeah, I remember last time we did one rounded to one decimal place, but I'll prefer to use 9.534 for this calculation. Remember that part also. So this 9.534 as our height this time. And what do we need to find? We need to find S dash, this shadow length, right? From O and uh, that's the pole, right? So now since we need to find this line and we know this again we can use tan right so we say tan of 75 degrees is equals to height which is 9.534 divided by let's say this value is not known so let's say is s okay so what is s equals to so s is equals to 9.534 divided by tan of 75 degrees right use calculator calculate it so we get 9.534 that value is already there in the calculator uh, divided by tan of 75 degrees tan of 75 degrees and we get 2.5546 2.5546 so we can approximate this to let us say two decimal places so two point Five, five meters right so you know so we can get the height or length of the shadow for the different elevation okay I, I hope you understand how we apply trigonometric function tangent of the angle to find first the height of the pole and in second case the length of the shadow for a different angle of elevation okay and I hope you understand the strategy behind what to know, what to use. Could we use sine theta in this case? No. If hypotenuse is not given to us, then we cannot use sine and cosine, right? We should avoid them. So if hypotenuse is given to us, only then we can use sine or cosine. If adjacent and opposite sides are given to us, that combination gives us the option of tan, tangent of theta, okay? I hope you understand. Thank you.